Today I'm having a photo shoot right over here. This is a place called the Winery Gourmet. It's a similar company that what you watched the video previously. I had it in Chimes. And then uh, this one is more cozy, more atas. And uh, you can check out their opening hour is uh, 3 p.m. to 12 midnight. Oh, okay. So I was told that uh, <laughs> there will be an updated uh, opening hours. But anyway, I'm going to give you a quick tour about this uh, restaurant. Uh, they are not open for business yet. I'm coming back for a photo shoot for their new menu. And I uh, can show you that it's a quite a comfortable place that you can uh, chill out and then get your alcohol. And sometimes they have some uh, discount right over here. You can see that 30%. Um, I'm going to show you the place I'm going to have photo shoot. It's just right over here. It's a very cool concept. Like this, you have your uh, dine-in place like in a cove in the cozy area so i'm going to have the photo shoot oh, sorry, over here like this and then i'm going to show you uh the photo and maybe i'm going to try some of the dishes this is the first item it looks very cool so um first thing you come over here order this one with your friend and then like you can have a lot of alcohol and uh, start with the salami some cheese the olive i love their olive honestly the olive is the best i ever had okay so I'm going to have a setup like this in the black color background. Then let me test the light first. Okay. Okay. I'll show you the photo after the photo shoot and then I'm going to let you know which one is the best to order. These are the items that I took for the photo shoot. So, and I actually included uh, two ice cream but it's melted so I'm not going to show you the ice cream. So let me check with the chef see which one is the must order when you visit to this restaurant. Just done all the photo shoot and then it's time for me to taste a little bit and start, let me you know that uh, which one you should order when you come to this uh, amazing restaurant. Okay. So uh, the dishes that the chef recommended you to uh, come over here and order is the fish. I can see the fish is like creamy, fried and then uh, cooked with caviar. And uh, the one is uh, fried rice. This one is uh, with the chop chow crab with the bonito and the fish roll. And it's a black color fried rice. Um, the chef was saying that this is a must order and also the beautiful scallop right over here you can see that it plate very nicely when I take this shot I'm very happy because that, um, the plating is very nice because that, uh, when I use my mobile phone to capture a shot it's uh, actually beautifully uh, done I don't have much more editing and also this uh, urchin with the fish roll I'm gonna give this a try first Mm. It is very flavorful and it's perfect with the wine, red wine or white wine, you'll be fine with this, so you should order this. And um, grilled vegetable is also one of the signature. I remember last uh, previous photo shoot, I did a uh, grilled cauliflower, it's just a very simple, uh, uh, what do you call? garnish and dressing and it tastes so good it's just a grilled cauliflower and then like some of the sea salt i'm going to try the shika also it looks very impressive like this so let me give it a try it had a feeling feel inside it looks like a sausage i'm not sure let me give it a try first Uh, feta, what you call it, right? Foie gras feta or... Mm. Oh my god. You should not come here without drinking. You need a bottle of wine at least. Mm -hmm. Not that this is really flavorful. Uh, too strong. Uh, I need to uh, get something to dilute. <laughs> mm. Very well done. I'm very impressed with that. Mm -hmm. Let me um, try the scallop. So there are two scallop here. Uh, one is grilled and then one is raw salad. Okay, the raw salad, scallop, not salad. The raw scallop looks like this. Um, it's rinsed with the green color sauce. I'm not sure what is that. And I can see the nut, caviar, and uh, garnishing. Let me give you a try. Okay, 
I'm going to use a, a set of this uh, I call cutlery so I'll keep it clean for the other stuff to try also because I, some of these are new dish they, are, they have not tried that before okay I'm gonna give it a try now let's eat Oh, it is something like a uh, yuzu, something citrusy, very flavorful. And um, after that, you got the bite of the nut. It tastes like almond to me. It bring out the flavor very, very well. So I'm gonna have one more set of the new, new cutlery. Let me try the the jellyish thing. I'm not sure what is that, but um, it looks something to uh, bring up the flavor. Mm. It's actually mixed with the nut right well. <laughs> I like that one. It's very creative. And uh, the next one, the next one I'm going to try is the stick. It grilled beautifully. Look at the color, pinkish. Like I'm happy to see the beef like served in this color. It will be make sure that it's a very good beef. So I am going to let me use my cutlery for better hygiene purpose. Okay, and uh, for this, oh wow, it's very tender, very easy to cut. Uh, I don't see any uh, dressing, but I saw some uh, sea salt. Oh my god, wow, it's just literally melt in my mouth, um, it is super tender, I think that um, beef lover, when you come over here, definitely you need to order this one, because uh, um, I don't really taste much more seasoning, it's just like the original flavor from the beef and the sea salt. I'm very impressed with this. And the next one I'm um, going to try will be the mm, mm, the son of the what they call fried rice that uh, recommended by the chef. So I'm not sure um, why it's black. It should be the squid ink. So uh, let dig out a little bit, and then the fish roll and bonito. The soft shell crab is a beautifully fried so I should take part of the soft shell crab and to mix with the fried rice so I will get to know that how the taste for this one okay the bonito smell really good I'm gonna give you one bite um, The soft sauce crab is on a salty side, um, but it's not those that super super salty. I believe this must be made for like pair with alcohol. <laughs> it's speaking by a, an alcoholic. Mm. I'm very happy with that. The fried rice is something I really like, um, especially on a long work day, and then I can uh, I mean working after a long work. The fried rice are always like to come up, bring me comfort. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to try the grilled vegetable. It's a, it comes with a beautifully done onsen egg. If you can see that the onsen egg is actually still running, bouncy, bouncy. Um, oh, I accidentally just burst the uh, the egg yolk. So. Oh, so underneath the uh, grilled vegetable, there are some yellowish thing. I believe this pumpkin puree. Okay. Don't worry, I'll give you a try and then I'll let you know what is that. Okay. I'm going to uh, leave this fork here for the staff to try. Okay, let's try the grilled cauliflower. Yep, yeah, I'm right. So underneath they put the pumpkin puree. Mm. This is a dish that when you want to eat clean or like too much of the unhealthy food or too much alcohol, 
the next day you should order this one to uh, make it balance for your health mm. very impressive okay i'm going to try the last one i will skip the angel hair and the salad these are the two i always have when i come to uh, this restaurant okay i'm not sure what fish is this but it looks like a flounder to me you have to is that flounder huh? Silver soap? Dover. Dover. Dover soap. Oh, Dover soap. Never heard about that fish. <laughs> but uh, it looks good because that it has quite a little bone. Because that when you cut it, it's very easy to cut. That's what I like about fish. I got phobia eating fish because I got like choked by the fish bone before. Like, but this is something good for me. Okay, I'm gonna put some of the cream. Okay. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow. The the cream is very refreshing. Um, a little bit sourish, and the fish is not fishy at all. Full of flavor. The more you chew, the more flavor release up. Mm. It's a I recommend this one. Mm. Okay, so for me, um, I would recommend you to order the fish for sure. It's very nice, very easy to eat. And then I really like the what they call the fried rice. It's very unique. And uh, the beef is you must order. Uh, eat it alone or eat with your friend is uh, is a must order. And then this raw scallop. Oh, hang on. I have not tried the meatball and the scallop yet, so I'm going to uh, give a try. Okay, one thing of this uh, meatball, I can see some octopus inside. So it should be something uh, seafood meatball, I guess. So I'm going to give it one bite also. I can taste some bean. Um, it's a little bit Italian to me. It's something like what you can get in Venice. You sit on the canal side cafe or restaurant. Hmm. For someone who loves meatball, you definitely need to order this one. But I can taste the bean. Um, if you don't like those big bean uh, person, uh, the taste, you don't order this one. And the last one I'm going to try is the scallop. Beautiful scallop. Beautifully done. Okay. Mm, holy mama. It is very well prepared. I hate those restaurants, they overcook the scallop but um, the chef, they make a very good job they grill it very nice mm. okay so I will say that um, just order everything here <laughs> I really like all that I tried and then um, there are quite a lot of surprises to me I think um, that is something you'll never get to eat outside probably right over here so with that, I hope you like this video. With that, um, I hope you think the photo is beautiful. I hope you bring your friends right over here to uh, dine together. And, uh, or even those that come alone, order like this. <laughs> and then like you can uh, really enjoy everything right over here. Okay, with that, I'm going to say goodbye now. Bye-bye.